So Manchester United have been heavily linked with mm. Ivan Perisic all summer long. It's dragged out into a very painful transfer saga. They've rejected a bit of 45 million euros plus five in bonuses. He's flown to China. Does he want a Man United move? Will we sign him? Who does Jose Mourinho get if he doesn't get Ivan Perisic? <laughs> Exhausting, but are yep. there any alternatives for what is quite a classic old school traditional winger? Goes to the outside of the fullback, fires in across. Not that many players do it anymore. We're going to take a look at some potential alternatives. Are there anybody? Is there anybody that is a direct alternative for Perisic? We'll run through a few options. First name on the list, because all you guys and girls, you keep mentioning his name in the comments, Usman Dembele, after he had a stunning breakthrough season at Dortmund. But is he, is he a left winger? Is he, is he somebody who's going to fire crosses in? Is he even slightly similar to Perisic? Hey, he's a right midfielder, I think, firstly. That's where he's played for Dortmund. That's where potentially he played for Rons, also off the striker. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's a different option. It's a different proposition. I think the thing with Perisic in terms of his goals and assists record was very good last season. Again, as you mentioned, a left-sided player. Mm. A player that's going to take on the fullback, a guy that's going to get crossed into the box. Almost ambi uh, you know, ambidextrous with his feet. Similar to Usman Dembele. You look at how good Dembele is with his left, with his right. Takes penalties with his left. Is supposed to be right-footed. So maybe if you were to sign someone like Dembele, you could easily play him on that left-hand side. Whether Dortmund would let him go, probably going to cost... You know, your house. A lot. A lot of cash. But then, if you're spending 45 million on Perisic, 28 years old, again, you go back to that sort of, it's basic maths and it's basic, mm. is this actually worth it in the transfer? For someone like Usman Dembele, 20 years old, yes, it's definitely worth it. Mm. It's unbelievable at dribbling. I think one of his, his best assets is his ability to accelerate and decelerate, something that not many players have. You think of the messy, um, you know, slow you down, then bang, you'll explode. Dembele has that similar quality. A brilliant season at Borussia Dortmund, both in the league and the Champions League, was such a threat going forward, getting crossed into the box for, of course, um, Aubameyang, similar to what United have done. Yeah. Dembele could be the option, but it's more right-sided than left-sided, but arguably could play in any of the attacking positions. Dembele. Next up on the list is the player that Arsenal have actually been trying to sign, Thomas Lemar. Now, he did play out on the left for Monaco alongside Benjamin Mendy. It was a great partnership they had down Tasty. the left. Now, Benjamin Mendy, Man City have had a 44.5 million bid rejected for him. Again, we were talking about it when we were talking about defensive midfielders. Make sure you go and check that video out. We'll leave a link in the description. But do they need to sell Thomas Lemar? They've already sold Men They've already sold Bernardo Silva. They've already sold Bakayoko. Will they sell Fabinho or Lemar to United? And is Lemar that proper winger like Perisic. Because for me, Mourinho's obsession with Perisic, I, could, I consider it an obsession, obsession at this stage, is the fact that he is an old school winger. He will run on the outside. He will not be one of those wingers like Martial who cuts in the inside and shoots from the edge of the box. His natural instinct is to go outside. Mm. Is that something that Lamar would do? Yeah, I think, I think what you saw with Monaco this season, their 4-4-2 was brilliant. You know, moving to pretty much a 2-4-4 a in a way, or a 2 four with the two defensive midfielders, two wing backs, and then the two players coming inside. And obviously Bernardo Silva, excellent player. You know, obviously he's gone to Manchester City, but one of the best attacking midfielders in world mm. football for me is his ability on the ball and, and to be able to knit play together. He was a real playmaker, but as you mentioned, Lamar's more of the winger. Mm. He is more of the winger in that system. Does like to come inside, does like to allow Mendy to go on the overlap, but will go on the outside, will take you on, has the skills, the ability to get across into the box. Yeah. So it makes more of a sense, um, you know, as a Perisic type option. I think, again, the thing with Perisic that Mourinho likes so much is his adaptability. Could play a number of positions, could play on the right, could play on the left, could play as a 10, could play as a, a wing back. We saw him play left wing back against Roma in Serie A. They did lose that game three goals to one. Uh, Nangaland, another player that's been linked with Man United, scoring two absolute banging goals. Mm. But what was quite impressive was Perisic's ability to you know, go forward and go back. Yes, tracking, the, tracking the, the opposition wasn't the greatest asset, but he kept on making those run, runs in behind, grabbed an assist from uh, left wing back. So it could be an option there. Mendy, could he do that potentially? I suppose it depends, what he, as you say, whether we switch to that 3-5-2 formation. Mm. But... On paper, Lamar certainly looks like a more direct alternative to Perisic, certainly more than Dembele, who, as Dave said, played on the right. But what about Yannick Carrasco? Yannick Carrasco he obviously plays for Atletico Madrid. They've got a transfer ban. Probably not going to be leaving the club this <laughs> summer. Probably not going to happen. But lots of you guys and girls have been mentioning him, so we thought we'd bring him up. Is Carrasco a Perisic-type winger? He's a winger. 
can play on the left, can play on the right. Explosive, so good with the ball at steep. Think about his impact in that Champions League final that Atletico went on to lose uh, against Real Madrid. He came on at half-time. He scored a cracking goal, dribbling from his own half, cutting in and then firing the ball home. A that little a bit goal. similar, I'd say, in a way. A bit more Martial, a bit more cutting in than your traditional winger that's going to go wide and put the ball into the box. But an elite forward going forward. You know, if they were signing uh, Carrasco, um, used to be named Ferreira Carrasco. You remember that one? It was a long thing to say. Yannick Ferreira Carrasco, but now just known as Carrasco. But he, he has that technique, has that ability on the ball to become that guy. Yeah. So it will be an interesting one. But again, we've seen what's happened with Griezmann, transfer ban for signing allegedly 65 underage players. I think they deserve that transfer ban, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. But as for Carrasco, I don't think it's going to happen. But all of you mentioned him, so we brought him up. You're going to like the next name, though. Somebody who has been linked with Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, every top club in the last few years, Marco Royce. Mr. Injury, if I might call him mm. that. Uh, you know, absolutely top draw player, cruelly has to struggle through a lot of injuries that keep seeing, they just keep mm. coming and coming and coming. For me, looking at Royce and how I've seen him play, he's not like Perisic at all, no. in fact. I don't know whether I'm wrong in saying that. It would be an outstanding signing, but would he suit what Mourinho, you think Mourinho is looking for in this winger that he wants to sign? I think that he is one of the best players in the world on his day. I think the only thing that's not that's pulled him out of the Ballon d'Or race is his injury record, as you mentioned. And unfortunately, he's had you know knee injury after hip injury after this after that. Mm. You know, on his day, he's a fantastic player, but more of a player that likes drifting inside. You know, becoming a playmaker or even starting centrally as a number ten. And mm. um, I don't think he'd be a bad option, but it isn't quite your Perisic type winger that can that can do that. But arguably, he's you know he's the, the best part of his career, if he can get back up to the levels of Borussia Dortmund you know, when, they won, when they got to the Champions League final, if he can get to that level again, then he'd be a fantastic acquisition. But the only thing that you've got to question is that injury record. And it's something mm. that Mourinho and Manchester United don't really want is a player that's going to be injury prone again. Yeah, we've had a lot of them over the years, but one player we were linked with previously, his name was cropped up yet again. So next up on the list is Lucas Moira. Man United were going to sign him. Before PSG decided to come in and offer him two, three times the amount of money, Fergie was pissed off. Man United fans are pissed off. He joins PSG, but once again, it's come full circle and he's been linked with Man United. Once again, Dave, is he a Perisic type winger? Would, would, be, would Lukaku expect cross after cross from Moira or is he a different type of player? I don't think so, no. I think he's you know, more right-sided again than left-sided. Mm. A very good player. Made a big, big mistake not moving to Man United. We've seen at PSG how they've gone through attacking midfielder after attacking midfielder. You're thinking Draxler, Di Maria, um, you know, the list goes on and on and mm. on. But it's kind of one of these things where Mora hasn't got to his potential. He's a very, very good player on his day, very tenacious. Um, arguably as well, Emery likes him because he's quite good at getting back into formation. He's, he is Mourinho-esque in terms of his work rate and his understanding of playing on the wing isn't mm. just attacking, it is defending, so would work there. But also the ball at his feet, very explosive. Um, I like him as a player, but I think his time for Manchester United is gone. Unlucky, Lucas. But one player, you know, Mourinho hasn't signed anybody from Chelsea yet. But could this winger be the man? So the final name on this list is Willian. Now, Mourinho clearly likes Willian, just like he likes Matic, just like he liked um, Lucas, what's his face? Lucas that went to China. Yeah, Lucas. Oscar. Oscar. Was, <laughs> Lucas, <laughs> Lucas Oscar. Wrong name completely, but Oscar, you know, because he came in the team and then Matter went out of the team because Oscar was sort of like more the all-round yeah. worker. Willian's that type of winger. Mm. Again, he's more towards the right-hand side than he is the left-hand yeah. side, but could Willian be that alternative to Perisic that suits what Mourinho is looking for. I think at Donetsk, I think he played more on the left than the right, so it could work quite well. He's going to get to the byline and he's going to cross the ball, but it's that, that work rate that Mourinho does love. Could be used in a number of positions. I think it, quite make, it makes quite a lot of sense because Mourinho has sort of killed him a little bit in a creative sense. He has mm. slowed him down, made him more aware of his defensive surroundings. But that isn't a problem if you're explosive like Willian is on the counter-attack. But with Willian, and you've seen someone like Douglas Costa go to Juve for such a small price, I think that Costa, Douglas Costa would have been a better option than Willian if you're mm. going to go down the Brazilian wide players route. I understand the relationship that Mourinho has with these players and he wants to bring these guys back into the camp. But for me, Costa is that is a winger. You know, we saw what he did to Bellerin mm. last season, absolutely destroyed him, you know, and did fall out of favour at um, Bayern Munich. Ribery Robin had the best seasons in a long while. 
Um, but it seems he would have been a bit better than William. But William still would be a good option, would do a role for Manchester United, would allow the rest of the players to be more attacking. Thinking at wing back, mm. William would be a perfect wing back. Are we going to switch to 3 5 2? These are the options that we've run through here. I'll run through them again. We've got Dembele, Lamar, Carrasco, Marco Ruiz, Lucas Moura, and William at the end. Which do you think would be the best alternative for Perisic? So you've had your decision on who you think is going to be the right alternative for Perisic if we don't sign Perisic. But Dave, there's a whole list of names here. Maybe there's someone that we haven't mentioned. Do you think there is somebody in the market today that offers the same set of skills that Perisic would offer Manchester United? I'd say no. I think it, it's got quite a unique set of skills. I think someone like Douglas Costa would have been a good um, example of a player that would have fit perfectly. But you could argue if Mourinho is going to a 3-5-2 that Luke Shaw could be the guy. Luke Shaw could come in and play in an attacking role as a, as a left wing back and mm. get the freedom going forward. Arguably, Darmian as well has been fantastic in that position. He has. So I think there's some options in the squad that could go out there. You think of Anthony Martial and so forth. So if United don't get Perisic and they're not going to sign him for more than 50 million or 45 plus add-ons, yeah. isn't the worst thing in the world. I think there's, there's players in the squad that could go. United, I think defensive midfield is more key to replacing Absolutely. than getting a left winger. But I think Perisic would be brilliant if he was signed. Well, that's it for the update. And I say the update. That's it for the video on Perisic and potential alternatives. Thank you very much, Dave, for coming in. As always, make sure you head over to Statman Dave and subscribe to him. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, make sure you check out our other two videos. We're going to do a video on Mourinho and the formations for next season. And also looking at the defensive midfield options that Man United need to look at this summer. Because as Dave said there, a winger would be a nice signing. But... The defensive midfield is the priority now for Jose Mourinho and Ed Woodward. We've given our opinion on who that might be and who the alternatives of Peritich are. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy. We didn't even talk about Jess Lingard either. Oh dear. Sorry, Jesse. That's it.